does my hair look epic? Mom and I are heading out to another Amish store. This one's in Tipton, Missouri. And uh, it's a bigger one, more like a professional grocery store. But they have some things there that I can't get at the other Amish store. And just a beautiful, fun day for a trip. Don't you think so, Mom? Fun day for a trip? <laughs> so we're in Lincoln still and I stopped to get my car washed because the softball girls in Lincoln are washing for donations and look what a good job they're doing on my car. Mom's sitting in there watching them. She's having a good time. Look at that beautiful color of that orange car. I'm almost envious. I have car color envy. <laughs> what a great job. They're getting all those bugs off which I could never get off. Have you guys been winning at softball this year? Are you going to win? Uh, we've been doing pretty decent. Good. Yeah, the girls, they played the World Series back in July. We haven't started our fall tournament yet, and they got ninth place out of like 30, 17. Not bad, girls. we got a town with a population of 1,000 people. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> we play against teams from, you know, Kansas City and That's right. And That's stuff. right. Yep. Lincoln's the best. Always has been. Yeah. Second stop, McDonald's. Mom had to pee. Now that's okay. We got the car washed. The girls were fantastic. The car looks better than it's ever looked in its life, I think, since it was new. Had a nice conversation with some people going to the lake to have a good time this weekend. And they said that they didn't like their Prius either. They said they liked the full-size Prius, but these little tiny Priuses, they get shite gas mileage. I mean, I've never got over 48 and usually average 42 in the winter. And they said the same thing and that there's no headroom in them and that you know look at this i mean my buns on the ceiling you know i have more room in my smart car and not to mention isn't that a lovely bun isn't this lovely don't i look so spiffy today call vogue but anyway <laughs> call somebody i don't know you know um anyway so while mother's in there going to the bathroom i think she said she was going to grab herself a bite to eat too well um they got rid of their diet sweet tea, which probably had all kinds of aspartame and Splenda and stuff like that because it tasted way too good. So I'm sitting here waiting for her and then we're going to go off to Tipton to the next great adventure. Just a little commercial side note here. You see this Perrier water? Um, I like Perrier with lime and I thought, ooh, pink grapefruit juice. This is going to be great for my keto diet since I'm trying not to drink soda. and. Uh, I got some and I took a taste. Let me see if I can do it again without throwing up. Yep. 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 Dish soap. That's what it reminds me of. Dish soap. That's the worst tasting thing on the face of the earth. So I don't recommend that for keto dieting and staying away from soda. The lime one, Perrier with lime, not bad. Perrier with lemon, not bad. Pink grapefruit, dish soap. Ooh. Okay, we finally arrived at Tipton and we are at the Dutch Bakery Bulk Food Store. Let me let you see it. Look at those beautiful flowers. Oh, the kushas. I need a pumpkin so I can carve pumpkins. Look at these beautiful flowers, Mom. And uh, down there is squash. There's turban squash if you like to eat those. They're $2 a piece, two nineteen. I like the little white pie pumpkins. Yeah, I bet they're delicious. Look at those giant kushas. Yeah, they say those taste just like pumpkin. That's what I've heard. Decorative gourds, those are cute. Indian corn. So folly, and here it is a thousand degrees out. Oh, look at these giant pumpkins. That purple and yellow is pretty. Look at this. <laughs> I 
I love big pumpkins. Oh, how neat. Oh, let's get a cart. This is probably going to be a vlog in what not to eat on a keto diet. <laughs> we have honeys and jams and jellies. And over here, look at all the baked goods. Absolutely delicious. However, some peaches, more jellies. Don't look. Oh, I might run into somebody. I've got to look. Ooh, handmade soaps and lotions. Now that's pretty nifty. Pomegranate soap, a kai berry. Oh my goodness. Wait. Oh, they smell wonderful. Three dollars for a little bar of soap, though. Hmm. Not me. Greater whisk. Heavens knows I could use a new whisk. Ooh, little ones. Here's my price, buck twenty-nine. <laughs> Here's what we came for: spices, dill. I've got most of this. Ooh, sale of the week. Spices are 20% off. Oh, please, dear God, tell me that includes salt. Here's what I came after. Was the Himalayan pink salt medium. They've also got it in the... Oh, I love it when it's... It is 10... Let me get that down there. It's $10 for 1.22 pounds. And that's the course. And $8.04 for the medium. I'm going to go ahead and get, I think, the medium. Or I could get real salt. What I'm looking for is salt that has like minerals and stuff in it that's natural. I like the price on the real salt. I can get three pounds for the same price. What do you think? Real salt or pink Himalayan? The pink Himalayan is pretty. They've also got black Hawaiian coarse and Red Sea Salt Hawaiian. <gasps> decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a decision here. Eight dollars for the coarse grit black. You know, I can think of several things that might be good on. Um, I think I might get that. I got paid. I'm gonna splurge. Black and pink. I think we'll do something with that kind of salt. Here's bay leaves for a dollar fourteen. Black pepper medium, twelve ninety five. Why is black pepper so expensive? I like the coarse black pepper. I think I just bought something last time. Well, I think I'm okay. See if I can find anything that's keto friendly. I have found the coconut oils. So help me make a decision. Is it $13.99 for 96 fluid ounces or 32 ounces for like under five bucks? Or I can go with the virgin organic, which looks wonderful, um, right here zero carbs and it is 13.79 boy decisions decisions they're both zero carb i mean five bucks it's coconut oil the other one looks a little more refined maybe it's a little more natural i don't know you know is the darker oil better is the lighter oil better the other one says it's organic. I'll let you know. Well, there's Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar. 20 bucks a gallon. That is not a good buy. Got vegetables over here. Stuffed olives. Four bucks. 
Oh, look at the jalapeno eggs. Oh, that's amazing. A little under five. There's other pickled eggs. Buffalo eggs. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't those give you just horrible farts? Gracious, gracious. Well, there is stuff in here for the keto diet. You just gotta look. I'm gonna make a decision on this coconut oil and I'll let you know what I decide. I'm gonna do some reading.